Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series and today I'm answering a question that I have been frequently asked over the last few months which is how to change the colour of your calendars. Now this has probably come about because every time I show my calendar there are different colours for different aspects of my life like my personal life and my professional life. So I thought I would do a quick video to show you how to make these changes now. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's productivity tools then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let's go into Apple Calendar now and I'll show you how to change the colours of your calendar. Okay, so when you open your calendar, you are going to see something like this. Now, obviously, if you've never set up any events, then it's going to be completely blank. You'll have nothing there. So the first thing you need to do is to open up the sidebar. To do that, all you need to do is go to the top, up at the top left here, click on the section here, uh, and it will open up your calendars. Now you can make that a little bit bigger. So what you'll notice is that I have my home calendar, which is actually a calendar that is set as default. And I have my personal calendar. Now I can turn this off, which is not going to do anything. And if I control click on it, I can delete that calendar, which is what I'm going to do because I don't need it. It was set by default. So I've got my work and personal calendars. And what you'll notice is that my personal calendar, so if I turn off work, is in blue. And if I turn off my personal calendar and turn on the work calendar, that is in currently purple. Now, if I don't like work as purple, what I can do is, again, I can right click or control click on work and I can change that to another color. So I'm going to change that to red. Let me turn my personal back on. And so now I have a different color. So you can change the colors of the calendars simply by right clicking or control click on the, on this, on the actual calendar itself. And then you get these information. So I can click on get information and I can change things in there. Or I can just go in and change the colors which are down here. So you get these default colors by nature, but I can actually customize the color by clicking on there. That will then give me the color wheel and I can choose a color from there if I wish. I'm going to leave that as normal. Now the thing is, if you actually create another calendar, so if I go up to the top and I click on new calendar, and I'm going to call this coaching because this is, you know, what I'm going to do. What you'll notice is it's actually giving me the same color as my personal or slightly different. I think it is, but it looks the same. What I need to do is just go into there and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to change that color to purple. So I have a different color. And then now when I create a coaching, so Thursday morning is usually I start my coaching calls. So coaching calls at that time and I usually go on till 12.30 so we'll move that to 12.30. So now I have different colors. Now this is going to show across onto my iOS devices as well so there's no worries there. So I can create the colors on here and then I can put in my coaching call so I can just copy that and then paste it and I can move this around and let's say I do coaching calls from 7.15 until yeah, and then again, I'm going to copy that and just move it across and I can just move that there. Alternatively, what I can do is actually just do this and go in and repeat um, and then just custom and it could be every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That will put it all in. So there you go. That's essentially a quick video just to show you how you can change your colors in your calendar on iOS. Now, I should point out that you can't change individual tasks. So if I double click on that, I can't change the color of this. I can only change the color of the calendar. So you, no matter what I do in here, there are no options here for me to 
to change the color of the individual task but you want to be changing the color of the calendar and that's done in the sidebar right there. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you did get any value don't forget you can click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want more tips on using Apple's productivity tools. Just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and, and Notes. We're gonna be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is gonna make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all gonna be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the time sector system and my brand new notes organization system, Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course and don't forget if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.